Hey folks, my name's John, but my friends call me Izzy, and you can too. This is Izzy's Painting Workshop. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So this week we're gonna finish off our work, just get them done for good. Uh, I did some stuff off camera, like I did some free hands off camera, I did his gun off camera, and I did the crate he's standing on off camera, aka his tactical rock. Uh, you know, I just did that stuff because the blending I did is just basically the same stuff I went over last episode, and edge highlighting and everything. It, it's all stuff we've covered before, and the freehand is beyond the scope of what I'm looking to go over with this first miniature. And also, I'm not that good at freehand yet. So, that's that. In this episode, we're going to basically base the miniature, uh, put on some rust effect, and do the sealant and call it a day, and that's pretty much what it is. So for the base, we're going to dry brush. Uh, we're going to use some dry brushing, on, and we'll go over what that is. But we're going to try out this little makeup brush that I got for like two bucks at the store. It's an elf makeup brush, and I keep seeing people talk about dry brushing with makeup brushes, and they're cheap, and they say they get good results, so we're going to see how that goes. Um, other than that, um, yeah, um, we're going to be dry brushing and painting the base with the same green colors that we used for the paldrons, just to try and tie the piece together so that there's homogeneous colors and, like, the eye isn't drawn all over, the eye's drawn in directions. Uh, yeah, so, let's get into it. Cool. Okay, so these are the colors we're going to make the base. We're going with golden olive, medium olive, and yellow olive. We painted the base yellow olive so that it was dark, because you want to paint the darker color first. And we're just dry brushing the other lighter colors on top of it. Here, you can see I'm using the e.l.f. makeup brush I was talking about, and it does produce nice results. It's fun to use, but... I can't get as much control with it as I would like. If I hadn't already put the miniature on the base, then this would be a great tool to use, but I found that I couldn't get as much control with that brush as I'd like, so I switch over to an army painter brush. And this is just an old beat up army painter brush that I have from years and years ago that I'm using. Uh, here's the model number if you care. but. You can see, um, yeah, I'm just able to get more control with this brush. So let's talk a little bit about what dry brushing is. And you can see that I put paint on the brush and then I'm wiping most of it off and then just rubbing the brush on the textured areas. Remember when we first put the model on the base, we textured the base a bit to marry the model to the base so now we're using that texture to our advantage and as you can see we're just dry brushing on with just very little paint on the brush hold hardly any paint on the brush anyway just rubbing it on there so that it comes off on the most raised areas of the texture and it produce it's this isn't good for for super detailed stuff that you want to work on like I wouldn't do this for armor, but for the base, for the granular part of the base, this is nice to use. And here you can see some of the results a little bit, if I can get the camera ammo right. And now we're just coming back with that golden olive, which is our highlight color from the paldrons. And as you can see, I'm wiping most of, there's hardly any paint left on that brush, and I'm just going to town. And as you can see with this brush, I get a little bit more control than I did with the makeup brush. The results are comparable, but this just gives me a little bit more control because of the shape of the brush itself.
and here you can see our dry brushing and where it's gone you can see the dry brush part on the, the raised areas and you can see there's still recesses and shadows so next we're gonna add we finished off some other stuff off camera just I just did some of the other I picked out the other elements on the base and now we're gonna use some rusting pigment just to add a little bit of spice to the mini and you can see we're using secret weapon and I like secret weapon because you can mix it with just water and I'll show you that in a minute but you here you can see all the, the little details we picked out just all the little bark and fungus stuff on the base it's a forest base I painted some of the leaves too they're just red they're, you know, they're red and orange they're nothing fancy so we take the rust pigment and you can see I'm still using a junk brush it doesn't really, like just don't use a good brush for this but I just take some of the pigment and you can see it's just a powder take it out and put it in my little wavy part at some point I'll go over all the equipment I use but this is called a wavy part and it's part of the red grass wet palette that I use but you can see how much I put in there and it doesn't have to be a lot we're not doing a whole bunch of guys just this one guy and you take just regular water like I'm using the paint water and you just want to mix it up a little bit and you can see that's looking pretty thick but you just thin it out into a consistency where you want it this isn't something where there's so much a right and wrong way to do it I on this miniature don't want to cake too much on I just want to put a slight patina but you can really put as much or little of this rust on your model as you want it's just a fun little trick you can do at the end it adds a little bit of spice and character and to apply it you can see I'm just using this beat up old synthetic brush I've had for years it's it's not a good brush it's just beaten to hell and you can see I diluted it a little bit get some of that off and I'm just looking to add a slight patina but you can see that this is not a delicate process I'm just dabbing it on just putting that rust effect and you know just putting the base of anywhere there's metal and it just gives the piece a little bit of character we all like character don't you like character I like character I think you have character you can see I'm just going back in in different spots you don't have to go crazy with this but once again there's no wrong way to do it don't be super sloppy because you don't want to get too much on the base of the mini itself you can see I got a little bit on the base there so that's not great but And here we go. Remember, this is your model. You can put as much or as little rust effect on it as you want. And yeah. I don't even want the guy to look super rusty, I'm just using it because it also kind of doubles as a little bit of a dust effect on his boots to make it look like he's been out in the field for a little while. It's great when I can paint on camera, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry guys. And gals. And here you can see it's still a little wet, but you can see that you know, it just adds a little bit of character. It's not over the top, but it just adds a little bit of character. It's a fun little touch to add to a mini. So 
So now we're airbrushing on the sealant and this is AK Interactive Matte Ultra Matte Varnish. This stuff is absolutely goddamn magic in a goddamn bottle. And we're going to use some airbrush thinner. You can use this stuff straight from the bottle into your paint into your brush. I just like to thin it because I like to just put m more thin layers on than I do just one thick coat. Like I I just it doesn't even probably make a difference. You can even paint this stuff on with a regular paintbrush. Just whatever you do, make sure you shake the bejesus out of the bottle before you use it. Because if you don't, it won't mat everything out. But if you do shake the bejesus out of this bottle, I promise you, if God himself shined upon your model, AK Interactive Ultra Matte would mat out your model. So... This stuff is great. Always make sure you put the cap on because you will spill it. We've all seen the tragedies people have had with null and oil. I don't wish to repeat that because it's really expensive. Also, another fun tip, kids. Make sure you're not like me. Work in a place that's well ventilated and use some kind of breathing protection like a mask or something. I am a jerk and I didn't and I should. So, yeah, don't do what I did, because I'm a dumb dumb. But yeah, you can see we're just getting it from all different angles, and we're, you know, just coating the model. Spray it from distance so that you get more blast radius, and just keep, keep going. Let it sit for a sec, and put a second coat on. Like I said, I used thinner, and I used thinner in a 2 to 1 ratio, 2 parts medium to 1 part thinner. And here you can see we have our finished model. And you can see we've got the base done, and he's all ultra matted out. Alright guys, I just want to make a quick clarification. AK Interactive's Ultra Matte Varnish isn't super expensive. It's like, I think it was like 12 bucks for a big bottle of it. But, spilling stuff is expensive. So I just wanted to make that quick clarification. This is going to be the last video I do for a little while. Life has reared its ugly head and I won't have time to be f shooting or editing footage for a little while. Um, I will be back and the next video I'm going to do is going to be about all the gear I use so you can get a cost so you can get an idea of how I paint and what I'm what I'm working with. Um, all right. For videos about how to photograph your miniatures, I know in the beginning of this series I'd spoken about showing you how I photo miniatures, but I have started using my cell phone so it's hard for me to actually film the episode while showing you how I photograph my miniatures because I'm using the same piece of equipment. But anyway, if you're looking for good videos on how to photo your minis, I recommend Lila Mev and I recommend Squidmar because both of them, as well as being excellent miniature painters, are also real-life photographers, so they are going to give you the best advice. Um, yeah, so... If you like what we do here, hit like and subscribe. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this video, and hopefully when we get to when we come back online, we'll see you in the next one. Later guys.